mon balai orange, j'ai besoin d'un vrai job Il a vu mes copines, je crois qu'il a fâché Je suis pas tout blanc bête à ma belle fessée Je pour un petit appel, tu crois que je vais la fesser Moi je m'en bats les reins, j'ai besoin d'un vrai job Trop tard, trop tard, je suis trop loin pour toi Trop tard, trop tard, je suis trop loin pour toi Good morning, everyone. Praise be Jesus and Mary. By the way, let me introduce myself first. I am John Kitts D. Padin, your facilitator for today. Before we proceed, may I have your attention, please, for our opening prayer and national anthem. Let us be aware in the holy presence of our God. In the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this for our asking for your blessing and help us. We are gathered gathered together. We pray, pray for guidance in the matters at hand in us that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm. Give us the desire to find ways to excel in our work. Lord, grant us the wisdom to care for the earth and tell it. Help us to act now for the good of future generations and all your creatures. Help us to become instrument of a new creation. Founded on the covenant of your love. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
I am welcome you to the opening of this important webinar titled Corporate Social Responsibility Towards Environment. It is our pleasure for being here for the benefit of the whole community. Before we begin the seminar, I am sincerely acknowledging Mr. Percy Cabasis, our instructor, for giving this opportunity. And I would like also to say thank you for the people who have been attending this webinar. This webinar was made for the purpose of acquiring knowledge and information that could be useful and valuable in the future matters. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great, great pleasure for me to introduce our speaker today, who is going to talk us about the social responsibility towards environment. She is currently studying at Christ the King College with a Bachelor of Degree of Business Administration. Major in marketing, and now let us welcome Miss Alden Minihares. So, good morning, everyone. So again, Good morning, everyone. So now let us talk about or talk about the corporate environmental responsibility. So I think this is not new to us because diba, we have done so much uh, seminar or workshop. Is it workshop? We had for the last uh, school year when we are coming about first year. So to begin, what is corporate environmental it is it concerns the environmental aspects of corporate social responsibility or the CSR it is commonly defined as uh, the way in which organizations can incorporate environmental issues into their operations in order to first So, again, organize it first. So, first, that's uh, about the, you know, the eliminate, how to eliminate waste and emissions. So, one of the bigger reasons to reduce waste is to conserve space in our landfills and reduce the need to build more land to build more which take up valuable space and are a source of air and water pollution. By reducing waste, we are also conserving our resources. Example, when we had our uh, cellophane or anything that can be a waste in our society or in our community. So we should have a common sense na dili ila bisan asa and ikip so that dili siya spread in, in our community so second maximize the efficiency and productivity so earth's limited sustainable matter while minimizing the environment it allows us to create uh, more land to deliver value with less less input. So <clears throat> by doing this, we can we can the max the maximum of productivity we can have is effective, kitsha, efficient. Dili man siya makapekto sa other other ah makapas ng pamagat. Third, 
or the last one is minimize practices that bad effect natural resources. Several of the natural resources and many of them can be incorporated into our daily routines with ease. Like conserve energy, conserve water, reuse and recycle recycle. So now let us continue about the importance of corporate environmental responsibility. Okay. Importance of corporate environmental responsibility in so these are the responsibilities in an organization or even in a business or company they uh, they have gained when they can uh, when they have this kind of uh, implementation within their organization. So first, this is just a example, but but uh, there's many ways naman po. So first, impose the relationship with local communities. So the protection of the environment is the primary focus of the corporate company. Corporates also practice social responsibility by donating to national and local charities which can be beneficial to the society. They have lots of resources that can be beneficial to the community. So you observe there are company or business in our city na can I, they they have their can um um uh, they call that uh charity or a way na I that way we can build relationship to the local communities and and that might Ma ilang image and their position also. So second is the branding organization. A brand name the value of the product or service of merchant. Strong brand they can help action of companies become as what I have said earlier. It's not just about We have to be and also it's branding of, of your organization or a company. And lastly, building a good image for the so, uh, this is too close with the Nina and one of the reasons for creating a corporate identity through C is activity to Organifies its socially responsible behavior toward stakeholders by engaging by engaging uh, or common or in specifically in environment environmental responsibilities to associate themselves with society. So now let us hear. Arnie. Thank you for that, Miss Alden, Thank for sharing it. Sharing your last juncture. Let us also let us our last juncture. Let us learn your history. As a former class member, Miss Alden has first been as first the King College without the business administration major in marketing. Um, so, in continuation of the topic, my part by the name of Arnie, and I will share some verses are towards environment. So, the first one the benefits environmental responsibility. So, business. So businesses go in gain other benefits. So the first one will be the will be the brand image. So standing standing as a 
as a green as a green corporate can kind of your reputation for reputation of course it helps the validity of brand by creating in the mind of the consumer so it means means you're taking action action to help the planet and the people who live on it not just for yourself and also to your customers going green also benefits economy as a whole and support supports internal costs to become an energy independent country in more ways than one so one of the benefits of going green is that it improves your image the audience are caring and aware so the second week it is it strengthen the customer loyalty so going green i know people that Prefer, rather, prefer brands who have an environmental concerns and they are more inclined to buy from them in the future. So strengthen it, it strengthen customers' loyalty. So for going green can also it can also help you to strengthen your relationship with the customer, whether you appeal to those who are conscious about the benefits of green or and this mission is a great way to strengthen ties in eco-conscious businesses or show external extraordinary brand loyalty when they know they aren't just getting good quality products but also and it it improves It so reducing the environmental impact of business will improve. This is the sustainability of your business. So of your business improve the sustainability. Of course, if you are less dependent on natural sources, then your com your competitors and will always have ways to deal with rising costs due to climate change your business will have a success and it is a practice of being a it is a practice of a business without impacting the environment negatively a green business function is the best interest of the local and global environment Meaning, it's the community and the economy dependent on a healthy planet and is considered more than just profit. Yes, bilang lang kaya sa mga gilang sa mga makatabang po sa tanan. So, it considers impact on the society and the environment. And these are the So these are the corporate mental responsibility examples. So one example of corporate environment responsibility are the So the first one is the First example of a corporate environmental responsibility are the prevention to pollution. So, prevention to pollution is ensuring good air quality benefit your businesses. You can reduce the risk of health problems among your staff and visitors. But this is one, one that takes a lot of pain, especially now that we're in rapidly digitizing and technological improving society and initiative towards reducing company emissions can be a huge step and cleaner environment so as many businesses want to reduce their carbon footprint and reduce the amount of environmental pollution they 
uh, they are seeking out ways to proactive about their building and waste process. And one is they. is the energy efficiency. So energy tests are running for the businesses, lowers carbon emissions, and shows the public that the company envir is environmental aware. So energy efficiency simply means using less energy to perform the same task that is eliminating Energy waste. So energy brings a variety of benefits such as the reduce of greenhouse gas emissions, reducing demand for energy imports, and lowering lowering the cost on a household. An example for the energy efficiency is the LED light bulb. And the third light, they are the example of energy efficiency where they require less energy. So the next one is the management. So the importance of being aware of your company's environmental society, social rather, social and economic impact, and most importantly, making the necessary changes to the cement. So the importance of a sustainability in a supply chain is that it extends beyond going green. A supply chain built on a sustainable platform creates more partnership and opportunities because environmental responsibility is a crucial focal point in today's industry. So practicing eco-awareness and Every aspect of your business improves your reputation and further legitimizes your organization. So sustainable supply chains can also help improve productivity while saving money at the same time by using sustainable techniques and resources. You, you can increase, increase the efficiency of building vehicles and machinery at a significant cost saving. So that would be all allow and that would be the benefits and the benefits and the examples of a corporate social responsibility towards environment so thank you Thank you, beautiful speakers. That was a wonderful and knowledgeable topic for us that we could possibly use in the future. So now for the side of audience, we believe that the knowledge we have shared will help, will help immensely in the development toward environment sector to you. So I'm sincerely thank for your attending this webinar and listening to the speakers. Because of that, all of you will be given a certificate of appreciation. So this is the certificate of appreciation. So social responsibility towards environment. So now before we go on, we will be giving an evaluation and the link will be sent through chat box. That evaluation link will be will test you based on your understanding and after that is the closing prayer. Spirit. 
receiving Christ the Son, Jesus our Savior. I believe in God.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Guys, thank you so much for listening, and that would be all. Thank you. Thank you.